There you go. Just want to uh, let everyone know that this session is being recorded. So feel free to turn on your videos. If you want to show your pretty smiling faces, we love to see them. This will be posted on our several, uh, CVCC website. So you can go back and watch recordings. Um, if you've missed any information sessions, they happen every Tuesday night. So we'll go ahead and get started. I'll introduce myself. My name is Brittany Cochran. I'm one of the college navigators here at CVCC, and I work with first year students. So some of you may have met with me or will be meeting with me soon. But tonight we have a information pack session about transferring. So we've got Miss Emily Munez, our transfer counselor here to talk to us um, about all things transfer. There is a chat feature on Zoom. So if you're unfamiliar with Zoom, the chat feature down at the bottom of your screen will allow you to post any questions you have throughout the session and we'll make sure to get those answered, okay? All right, Emily, we will go ahead and get started. All right, thanks, Brittany. So as she said, my name is Emily Munez. I am the transfer counselor at CVCC. And um, so there's a lot to cover tonight. So I'm gonna just dive right in. Again, if you have questions, it might be helpful to go ahead and post it in the chat. So that way at the end um, of my presentation, we can go over all of those. Um, so I like to start with um, directing you to our website. So that way you can follow along or if you want to go back and do a little bit more research on your own later, you can do that. So if you go to centralvirginia.edu, that is our homepage. You will then click on programs and classes. And then if you scroll down to the bottom of that page, there is a transfer information box here that we're gonna click on. All right, so there is a lot of information on this page. I'm gonna go through some things in a little bit more detail, some things a little bit more quickly. Um, again, if you have questions, please feel free to ask. Brittany is also gonna put my contact information in the chat. So if you have follow-up questions, you are welcome to reach out to me um, and I'll be happy to chat with you. Um, so the first thing I wanna talk about is guaranteed admissions. So if you are a student at CVCC or you intend to become a student at CVCC, this is a huge perk for um, CVCC or community college students um, in general. Um, so basically, CVCC is part of the Virginia Community College system. There are 23 community colleges in Virginia, and we have agreements between the VCCS, so the Virginia Community College system, and the colleges and universities that you see here. So on this site, this is on the VCCS website, they will list the agreements based on public college and universities, and then private colleges and universities, and then any other colleges or universities that we have agreements with. And so each of these agreements is very similar. It's going to tell you what you need to do to be guaranteed admission to that college or university, and in some cases to the specific school or college within the college or university. Um, and so the, the main two criteria are completing a transferable associate degree, and I'll go over that after we're done with this portion. Um, so a transferable associate degree and meeting the minimum GPA required by that school or by, you know, the program specifically. Um, these agreements are anywhere from two to, I think I've even seen eight pages long. And so let me, um, I'm going to click on one. Well, actually, before I do that, let me um, just share with you. So I had mentioned some of them are for the entire university. So for example, for Virginia Tech, if you want to transfer to Virginia Tech, you can qualify for guaranteed admission agreement as long as you get the associate degree and the minimum GPA. Now, if you are interested in, let's say, for example, the College of Engineering, so you want to come to CVCC and do our engineering program and then transfer to Virginia Tech's College of Engineering, you would want to read this agreement um, for this particular college within the university. And so once this loads, all of these agreements are gonna look very similar. Again, two to anywhere to eight pages long. It's going to list the associate degree that is required. So again, a transferable associate degree plus the GPA and then anything else that's required to be guaranteed admission. So this one in particular has a lot of different agreements here just because, or not agreements, I'm sorry, a lot of different um, associate degrees listed just because at each community college, it might be called something different. And so at CVCC, ours is the Associate of Science in Engineering. So we're right here. 
So if you complete that associate degree and you get a 3.2 GPA, then you would be guaranteed admission to Virginia Tech's College of Engineering. Again, these all are gonna look very similar. It's gonna list the associate degree type that you need. Again, a transferable associate degree plus the GPA minimum. And then some of these are gonna have some other requirements. And so I always encourage students and their families to read through these very carefully to make sure that you understand what's expected of you to qualify for the guaranteed admission agreement. You may have lots of questions after reading this. This is a whole lot of just information and some of it may not be you know, clear. So please feel free to reach out to either myself or once you're a student here, you're assigned counselor and we will go through all of this with you so that we make sure that you understand, again, what's expected of you. So back to this page, we have lots of agreements. So if the school that you're thinking of transferring to upon completion of your associate degree at CBCC is listed here, you'll wanna see you know, about guaranteed admission because basically if you qualify, you are guaranteed admission to that college. The other type of agreements we have are called articulation agreements. These are very similar. These are guaranteed admission agreements, but they are between CVCC specifically and one of the schools listed here. I always like to point out ODU's program because um, these agreements are for our applied science degrees. So CVCC has two types of associate degrees. We have the transfer oriented associate degrees, and then we have applied science degrees. Those are for students who are thinking of, they just want the two-year degree and then they wanna go get a job. But I have time, I meet with students sometimes and they, you know, that's the goal, but they think maybe down the line, they might want to further their education and get a bachelor's degree. This program will allow you to do that. So let's say you come to CVCC for administration of justice. The program's not designed for transfer. Um, you could complete that degree, go to work for a little bit, and then if you decide you want to go on and get a bachelor's degree, then you would want to check out the articulation agreement for criminal justice. The next thing I'm going to talk about on back on this transfer information page is our co-enrollment programs. So in Lynchburg, we are in a very unique situation. So all of these schools that you see on the screen here are colleges or universities that are private. Um, we are the only public institution in Lynchburg. But that allows us to do what we've done here is to have agreements with each of these schools. The co-enrollment program allows a student to apply to both CVCC and one of the schools you see listed here. If you're admitted to both as a co-enrolled student, you would take one class each fall and spring semester at the school of your choosing at CVCC's tuition rates. So you could take you know, three classes at CVCC, one class at Liberty University, you would be considered a full-time student. The class that you take there would be something that is meeting an associate degree requirement. So it would transfer back to CVCC. So you're working on both your associate degree and your bachelor's degree at the same time. Again, at the same tuition rate. So you would still be paying CVCC's prices. And then you can also take advantage of um, resources on their campus, events on their campus. So there's perks to doing this. It's not just taking the class. Um, you can, again, really get engaged with the campus community. Um, and so it's, it's a really great opportunity for students who want to get their feet wet, but maybe aren't quite ready for the four-year school experience right out of high school, or even if you're a returning student, have been out of high school for a while. Um, anyone can take advantage of these. There are some um, additional things to note with these. So Randolph College, if you were to do the co-enrollment program with Randolph College, that tuition is actually free. So you could take a class at Randolph College um, for free through the co-enrollment program. Um, the University of Lynchburg, we have a very strong partnership with them. And so we have lots of different types of co-enrollment programs with them. We have the traditional, so you could click there if you wanna learn more about that. We have the pathway two plus two, those are for the business programs. So if you take the classes listed, that are included in our business administration degree. And there's a couple other classes you would need to tack onto that. If you do all of that, when you transfer to the University of Lynchburg, you could finish in two years as long as you follow the pathway. Um, we also have what's called the Grow Your Own program. So that is for students who are interested in elementary education or special education. You could participate in this co-enrollment program and it's really helpful to keep you on track um, with the education major at the University of Lynchburg. Um, 
The final one that I want to talk about is the Noise Scholarship Program. This one um, is, again, it's a scholarship program. And so if you were interested in teaching at the middle or high school level in math or science, you could qualify for up to $20,000 in scholarship in your junior and senior year. And the stipulation is you get the scholarship, which is great, but you then also are committed to teaching for two years of each year of scholarship. So you would, if you got two years of scholarship, you would teach for four years in a high needs school. All of these schools in our area are considered high needs. So if you wanted to stay local, you could do that. That is um, certainly what we would like, but any high needs school in Virginia, um, again, it's a $20,000 scholarship. This is on top of any other um, funding that you're getting. So in some situations you could be getting paid you know, to go to school. So this is a really great opportunity. If you're interested in this, I encourage you to come back and check this page out. We've got a little video for you. Um, my contact information is there as well as Susan Hogg at the University of Lynchburg. And so um, definitely if that's something of interest to you, please reach out to us and we will be happy to talk with you about that. All right, so that was co-enrollment in a nutshell. Um, so also on our transfer information page, I've got some other information here for you. Um, I've got this colleges and universities page. Um, these are obviously not all of the colleges and universities in Virginia, and it certainly doesn't include anything out of state or out of the country, but that does not mean that we don't want to help you transfer to wherever you want to go. The, this list is just um, the top schools to which CBCC students transfer. So if you're interested in one of these schools, basically what I've done, um, I'll just click on one to give you a quick snapshot, is pull out some of the important pages that you should be looking at. So this will be the homepage, and then you wanna be looking at the Office of Admissions page for each school, you know, so you can learn about when their deadlines are for admission. The course equivalency guide, so that's going to have, how do your community college classes transfer to, in this case, George Mason University. The transfer information page. So as a transfer student, you're gonna to wanna to know about anything transfer related. So that page would have that information for you. Programs of study. So a lot of times I'll meet with students and they have a major in mind. They also have a school in mind, but maybe that school doesn't have that major. You wanna make sure of that you know, early on so that we can be planning accordingly. The course recommendations page, many schools in Virginia have this and it will list the community college courses that they recommend that you have based on the major that you're interested in. So this is a really great resource so you can see what you should be taking. The last thing is the general education requirements. So every four-year school has a general education requirement. Many times, most times, if you complete your associate degree, that requirement may be waived. Um, and so meaning, you know, you wouldn't need to go back and take, you know, an extra history class or humanities elective or something like that. But if you are thinking of transferring without an associate degree, you need to learn what the general education requirements are so that you're taking classes that will meet that. So that way all of your classes will transfer with you. Okay, and then the next thing I wanna show you to that same point I was just making. Um, so the state of Virginia has been doing a statewide initiative for the past three years called Transfer Virginia. I've been a part of that since the beginning. It is a huge endeavor, um, but it has, it's come to fruition in the past, you know, we've been working on it for years and now it's again, finally coming to fruition. One of the pieces of that is what's called the passport. So if you're a student that knows that you wanna be transferring to a four-year school in Virginia um, and you wanna make sure that your classes transfer, but maybe you don't wanna finish your associate degree. You just wanna take a semester, maybe two at CVCC and then transfer on to the four-year school you'll wanna make sure that you're taking classes that are listed here. Now, these are guaranteed if you, if you meet the passport to transfer to all public institutions of higher education in Virginia and any participating private institutions. And so if you take a class from each block, so if you take block one, block two, you know, onward down through block um, six here, and you get a C or better in that course, you will be what's considered passport certified upon completion of those. What that means is if when you go to transfer to your four-year school, it will have that on your transcript. And again, public institutions and any participating private institutions will consider that meeting 16 credits of their general education requirement. So it's kind of a guarantee that these classes will transfer. 
This is huge because prior to this, students, if you only took 16 credits and you transfer, there's no guarantee there. Um, so this definitely takes a lot of the um, you know, uncertainty out of that. We don't have a page for this yet, but there is another step to that. So if you decided you wanted to stay and do another 16 credits, that would fulfill our uniform certificate of general studies. So the passport courses plus another 16 credits, there is a list, there is a roster that you would need to make sure you're taking classes from that list. If you get a C or better, it's a guaranteed transfer for 32 credit hours of gen ed. That one is actually a certificate. So um, you would get a credential at the end. It also is considered the first year of the transfer associate degree program. So um, again, it's, it's just another stepping stone um, to help you transfer more seamlessly. I do wanna show you very quickly our list of transfer programs. So we have many associate degrees. These are the ones that are designed for transfer. So if you know off the bat that you wanna transfer from CVCC to a four-year school, you should be in one of these programs. Um, we have applied degrees. Again, those are more for students who want to go into the workforce upon completion. So there's less general education classes like math, science, history, humanities, social science, things like that. These are gonna be more of those courses. So that way, when you get to the four-year school, the general education requirement is done and you're able to go right into your major. And then lastly, just a couple more things. Um, if you complete your associate degree and you meet the criteria on this page, so you have to have a 3.0 GPA or higher, and then a few other things that are listed here, you would qualify for the two-year college transfer grant. Um, and that is $1,000 for up to three years. So $1,000 each year. Um, you know, college can be expensive, but if you do your homework and you look at these grants and different scholarships, you know, you can really get that cost down. And so this is a really great opportunity for um, community college students. I also have some helpful hints here if you um, need some help with how to be a successful transfer student. We also have transfer electives here. So many of our transfer oriented degrees require electives. This is a snapshot of what um, constitutes a transfer elective. Your counselor will help you determine what would be the most appropriate to choose based on your transfer plans, but this is the list here. And then the last thing I wanna show you, again, talking about the initiative in Virginia, the Transfer Virginia initiative, we have created a transfer portal. Um, this is brand new. And so it's still being developed, but there is a lot of information out here already. This is a tool that um, we are going to use as advisors. Um, students can use it. You can create an account so you can save your work. Um, but really, you know, it's got get started. You know, if you're not sure where to get started, there's a lot of information on here. You can click there, the transfer steps. And if you click on one of these, it's gonna break down that step in more detail. The transfer tools is probably what we will use most in advising. And I imagine many students, this is when you're gonna to wanna to create an account. You can enter in the coursework that you've completed at CVCC and see how it's gonna transfer um, to the schools um, in Virginia that are participating in this. All public schools are required to be in the portal. And then there, any private school that wants to participate will be in here as well. I imagine within the next year or two, you're gonna see about every college or university in Virginia in this. Um, there's a resource center. You can contact an institution. So if you're not sure who to ask a question, you can um, just reach out to that specific school and someone will respond to you. Um, I am the portal manager for CBCC. So if you were to click that and ask a question of CBCC, that would come directly to me. Um, you can see who is a partner by scrolling down a little bit and clicking explore all schools. And again, all public schools are required. So they've got all of the community colleges in here, all of the um, public schools listed here. And some of them are still working on their pieces. So you'll see a couple of those down here. Um, and then any future partners, again, many of the private schools are gonna be here. What that means is eventually they will be considered a full partner. So you'll be able to see how your classes transfer. We are also working on what's called transfer maps. So you can see what you need to take at the community college, you know, course by course, and then what you would take at the four-year school. So it's gonna lay out your whole bachelor's degree requirements for you, um, which is a really, it's gonna be great. That part's not completely um, finalized yet, um, but it is coming. And so again, we will be using this when we advise you. 
I think that is all I have to share on the screen. Um, and we've got just a few minutes left. So I'm gonna stop sharing to answer any questions that you all have. And it looks like we've got a few. Let's see. Oh, I'm so glad that you asked me about that. Um, yes, so Mina, great question. So two things about that. We are meeting with students any in any way. We will meet with you through Zoom. We will meet with you over the phone. You can come in person. Um, the other thing that I wanted to mention is we have a lot of transfer events that we offer to students. So those are also, also offered both virtually and in person. Um, many schools are finding that they are reaching a lot more students, you know, through Zoom or these virtual environments. And so um, we have a lot of events that students can join virtually. We are now welcoming back um, schools in person. So we have almost at least once a week, if not more, we will have um, college representatives come to CBCC either to our student center or they may do an information session. Um, they will also be doing some one-on-one -on -one appointments. Um, you can participate in any of those. Um, I send a weekly transfer email on Tuesdays called my transfer Tuesday email that lists all of these opportunities for you. So you can see, you know, if you're interested in, let's say VCU, you can see what types of events they're having, whether again, it's virtual or if they'll even be on our campus. Um, so I hope that answers that question. And it looks like that was the main question. <laughs> um, so yes, we're here for you anyway. Um, that you want, you know, we'll meet you where you are. So we'll meet with you however um, we can. If you're a current student, you can make an appointment with either your navigator or your assigned counselor um, through Navigate. Um, if you're a prospective student, you know, I meet with students even before they become students here. Brittany and I will at times meet with students together um, just to make sure you understand, you know, what transfer will look like for you and how to get started. Um, does anyone else have any other questions? I know I went through that kind of fast, but 30 minutes goes really quickly. A lot of information with transfer. So any questions, feel free to unmute yourself and you can ask it or just type it in the chat. Um, I did provide Emily's uh, contact information. So you might have to scroll up in the chat and you can email her any questions later that might pop up. And I also provided the phone number to the counseling office. That's a quick way that you guys can just call and get an appointment scheduled. They will direct you with who you need to meet with first. Um, or like Emily said, through your Navigate account if you have already applied and are a student. And yeah, I went through that really fast. Just there is a lot of information. So, I mean, we could have been here for an hour at least, but you know, if you want to go back and take a look at some of these things, if you have questions later, reach out, definitely check out the portal. Um, it's going to be a really great resource for you as well. Yes. And um, like I mentioned at the beginning, I know we had some people join us later. These sessions are recorded and they will be posted on the CVCC homepage as well as our YouTube page. So if you missed any or kind of want to go back and watch what Emily was showing, just feel free to go find this recording. It should be up sometime next week. Um, and then you can kind of go back and go over anything you may have missed. Let's see. All right. No other questions are coming through. So... Um, want to make sure we don't miss any here, but if there are no other questions, we will go ahead and let you guys wrap up a few minutes early here. Feel free. Don't be shy. Ask the question or go ahead and type it in the chat. There's a lot with transfer. And I think Emily may have said this before too. I always tell students it's never too early to start planning and thinking of transferring because there's just so much to it. So you want to make sure you've got everything planned out that you can. Yeah, that's absolutely right. It's it's definitely never too early. It's usually not too late. You know, we definitely do our best um, to help. But the sooner you have an idea, or even if you don't, you know, just chat with us about what you're thinking, so we can try to help get you on the right track. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I don't see any other questions coming through. So you guys hopefully jotted down Emily's contact info. Just reach out to us if any questions come up, but thank you so much for joining us tonight. And I'm glad that this is helpful for you all. So we look forward to seeing you on campus sometime in the near future. All right. Bye everyone. Have a good night. Good night. <laughs> You're welcome, Courtney. We look forward to it.